Baltimore can't take a short holiday without the threat of long-haired youngsters with knives indulging in an orgy of... Over 50 years ago, in the spring of 1964, simmering rivalry between two subcultures reached a flashpoint as they clashed repeatedly on seaside piers and promenades across the country. The two groups were known as the Mods and the Rockers. 1964 was the year that Brighton got battered. Experience, one word, I think it's crazy more than anything. Definitely crazy. A year immortalised in the film Quadrophenia, but what actually happened in the summer of 64? Who were the Mods and Rockers beneath those hard-hitting headlines? Were the gangs of rebellious youth a real threat to society? The Mods were obviously the better people. Um, they were more cleanly dressed, suits and like that, the Rockers, greasy hair and all that. So I'd say we were provoked. We are back at one of the most famous seaside crime scenes, Brighton. It's time to establish modern rocker fact from modern rocker fiction. I don't trust you. Well, we're, we're kind of lucky because we're so specialist. Um, even on quiet days when it's in town, we do get people kind of travelling a long way to come see us. So, you know, we get guys from Liverpool, from Manchester, all over the country, some from abroad, that come especially to see us, um, to buy suits and stuff like that. You know, so, because we're specialists and we're, we're kind of a non-branded type of mod scene, you know, we're not about labels, yeah. we're just about how cool you look. <laughs> well, that's, that's what mod was about, and we're one of the few people really worldwide now that are kind of a bit more about that. I mean, we weren't very big in those days. I mean, if you look at the 1960s, they were absolutely crazy. Uh, because the scale of it, uh, you're talking, there would probably be a lot on the seat, but here there was a, a group of about four, 500 pods and 200 rockers, and it just went cuckoo. You know what I mean? It was absolutely crazy. Uh, they chucked two rockers over the top of the aquarium over their deck chairs and smashed them over their heads and threw them over the top. That was the nice thing. But over 50 years ago, these pensioners were teenagers and they were about as welcome at the seaside as a shark. So how has the drastic change from the way they were hated then and the way we celebrate them now come about? We were really lucky because we had four local guys um, in a band um, called These Animal Men and they came in the shop and they bought four Lonsdale t-shirts on us and they were the only people that bought t-shirts and the next week they wore them on top of us because they were still on If you and your mates kind of have a rival you will kind of protect them and protect your culture, I mean...